Paul, describe Capita as an organisation to me and the role of technology within it. So Capita is the UK's largest business services organisation uh, and we've grown consist consistently over the last 25 years. Uh, and with our relentless focus on clients, what we've seen is our technology estate get broader and broader and broader. Uh, to the phrase I like to say, you name it, we have it. Um, which has caused us, as you can imagine, increasing operational cost, more complexity against that digital world of faster now 24 by 7. So we were at a crucial point of how do we speed that up, how do we come simpler, how do we eat quicker. Can you describe the challenge your organisation was facing and, and how it realised the converged infrastructure would be a strategic step towards resolving that challenge? I think following on from that growth and that, that acquisition of clients and companies, we had a very mixed heterogeneous estate. Uh, support costs were increasing year on year on year and our ability to be flexible and continue to focus on service excellence was becoming harder, uh, particularly around new applications, new operational models. So we decided that the first part of our journey will be to standardise to a new model, uh, not only technology but also operations, which would allow us to focus on the, on the digital world 24 by 7, fast, uh, to speed to market being the key thing there. So has a converged infrastructure uh, changed the application architecture and, and ha within the organisation? The great thing about converged infrastructure, it hasn't. So that's allowed our applications to remain on a similar architecture, similar designs, but has allowed us to be, to be more dynamic, bring up systems quicker and faster, and also take them down when they're not needed. That whole cloud-type focus to our operations has really driven the speed to market around applications without huge new application development programmes. And how has that uh, introduction of conversion for such a benefited capital's place uh, and what you were saying as being a, a business outsourced service provider and, and now I believe a cloud service provider also? What it really has done is allowed us to be more dynamic, more outcome based. So in the business processing world, we're very much about with our clients outcome based contracts. Uh, IT was always a challenge in that place and how we ramped up and ramped down very quickly. So what that's allowed us to do is to be a lot more dynamic, a lot more cost effective, a lot more agile in supporting our bigger business process outsourcing business. And in the cloud space, we have now got our own capital private cloud based on converged infrastructure, which allows us to provide utility services just like a tap of water on and off as required uh, as you need it. So it's been a fantastic journey for us. And do you see cloud becoming part of the the business process outsourcing market and, and, and opportunities that other organisations will exploit? So yes, already we're using cloud in everything that we do. So all our business process contracts allow us to flex up and down using, using that model. Uh, I think you'll see it more, more and more cloud-based services in the business process area, uh, particularly around a particular business process in the cloud rather than an outsourced outsource provider. Uh, and that will continue to go. And I think Capital is well, well positioned to do that and continue on in that journey. Well, thank you very much for sharing your ideas and thoughts with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.